Currently we are faced by very severe scarcity of uh, fuel wood and this is um, the main fuel for over 80% of our rural households and peri-urban areas and the only alternative that now remains is to turn to the alternatives that have not been exploited so far and biogas presents that alternative. Many homes, many households are turning to dairy farming, which means they are generating a lot of waste. And this waste can be used to extract some energy before it's applied on the farm. And the only way you can do that is basically by getting gas out of it and using it for processing your food at home. Right now we have a problem with firewood, mm -hmm. to get firewood. Even the, those charcoals, it is hard. Even the kerosene, it, it is expensive. So I can't say I'm not going to give you a cup of tea because I have no fire. Mm -hmm. That is welcome to have a cup of tea because already it is here. <laughs> and I feel great. Yeah. Yes. The salary now is playing about. There's a, there's a motion because the gas is coming out. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. So is it better than the other stove that you used? Or? Yeah, it is better because I have no expensive on it. So as when, whenever the gas condenses, we have our gradient falling to the lowest point. Yeah. This is our lowest point. So that's why we get we have a water trap here. Yeah. So on the other side we have the expansion or the outlet. There's the expansion chamber. And uh, that's the salary pit. That's why you see the those boys are just removing that the salary that has been pushed out, it is being taken to the compost. Mm. Okay. Of course the cost to come down because I was using about 10,000 in a month for fuel. But now it's reduced to something like 2,000 only. Well, I haven't started using it for lighting, it's just for cooking. It's very economical in using biogas. And then the, the kitchen will at least look green, more green than using firewood and charcoal. Ah. Yeah. Then that's what you put it on. And the meat also needs to be installed. <laughs>